YouTube. How the hell are you doing? This is your boy Iconic Below bringing you a brand new episode of Pokemon Showdown or Below from the Bottom, whatever the hell you guys want to say. And today we are playing some OU with this brand new team I decided to make for the 20th anniversary of Pokemon. This has a Pokemon from every single generation. I felt like I would have a little bit of fun with it. And Venomoth, one of the most underused Pokemon from Generation 1. We have Father. The Entei from Movie 3, obviously, because it was kind of a father figure. We have Fluffy, the Altaria, my favorite Pokemon from Gen 3 other than Breloom. We have Empoleon, which is probably my favorite Pokemon from Gen 4 other than Infernape, which I didn't nickname for some reason. Let's nickname him... Uh, Emperor, if it decides to go... Okay, we have Empoleon, the Stealth Rocking Empoleon, because I needed Stealth Rocks. We have Embor, the Bernard Bernardo the Embor, which is Choice Banded, just the basic Choice Band set. And then we have Sylveon, just because you can't have enough Fairy. And I needed something to be able to patch health back and forth to Bernardo and such. So let's find a battle. Hopefully we get in a good one. And I forgot to clear out my tasks before I started this. That's awesome. Okay, so we're going to start out with Empoleon. Uh, my team, although I do have two fire types, seems to have a lot of problems with uh, Ferrothorn. I got screwed up by one pretty badly right before I started this recording. So we're going to lead off with Barnardo right here, just to try and catch him off guard and such because I really don't think he's going to think that I'm going to lead off with a fire type. If he does, he'll probably end up leading off with that Keldeo. Those would be my two choices for a lead here. We might as well start the timer, because it seems like he's going to take a slow-ass time. Uh. So I'm going to be starting to upload more often now, which is awesome. At least I hope. Just getting into the schedule and getting my daughter back healthy, my son back healthy, and then I'll be able to start uploading a little bit more often. Stuff like that, so that'll be good. I uploaded a camo video the other day, and that seemed to do pretty well, so I wish everything would do that well, just because it makes me feel better about doing this. Obviously, I want to be entertaining and shit, so it's definitely more entertaining if I get more views. Obviously, it makes me feel better. And it looks like we are going to sit here and get a timeout victory. So, I will be back, guys. I think. You know what? Fuck it. We'll just close this one out and go to another one. I'm not going to sit here and wait. It's not worth it. We'll find another one. Absolutely not worried about it. So, yeah. I'm going to try and upload these... When I get on track, I'm going to be trying to upload these twice a week. We have a huge problem here in Gliscor. I do not have an ice move on this team, which is probably a really shitty idea, but I'm going to go into Empoleon. He does have the Charizard, which is by far something easy to deal with. He does have the possible Mega Manetric and possible Mega Charizard, as well as the possible Mega um, Latios and Mega uh, Swampert. So I'm going to set up the Stealth Rocks, see what this Charizard wants to do. It is the Mega Charizard Y, so this thing really isn't going to do very much, just based off of how this stuff is going. Um, holy shit, Overheat killed me. That really sucked. That really, really sucks. So now our best bet probably is to go into Bernardo here and just sucker punch him because he's probably going to switch out. So his switch for Bernardo would definitely end up being the Gliscor. So Head Smash by far is probably the best bet. So I will go with that. And he leaves in the Charizard. That was a very, very easy kill. Not very much that he could do to us there. So he's probably going to go into the Oh, he goes into the Swampert. That's a really weird move. 
Okay, he'll probably go for something that will hit us physically. So I go into Fluffy. And he uses Surf. Special Swampert. New meta. Let's just Hyper Voice. It'll do massive damage to this thing. He goes for Avalanche. We should kill him here. But uh, either way, it's not going to be too big of a deal. The last thing I'm worried about is the Lucario. So it's absolutely not an issue here. Um, if we could get... I really don't want to switch out. That's the shitty thing. Okay, so we are going to go into Father here. We have Choice Banded Entei. Obviously going to do some big work. He is probably going to end up switching out into Gliscor. So I'm just going to go for a Sacred Fire and hit this thing as hard as I possibly can. If he stays, into, stays in with Lucario, that's really... This dude doesn't understand the idea of switching. Obviously, he probably doesn't want to take Stealth Rock damage, but... This should probably end up being a 4-0 unless I get screwed up with switching too much or something like that. Um, I'm pretty much going to just say good fire and see what he does. If he goes for a dragon move, uh, yep, there it is. I go right into Fluffy. He has no stealth rocks on my team, on up on my side. I can pretty much just switch freely. Um, I do have Sylveon. I can heal this Entei back up if I need it. So... Wow, odd. He actually went for a move that can do something. He, I guess, expected the switch, but... And there's that. We'll roost up twice, get up our health again. This thing's burned already. It's not really going to do very much. So... I'm going to set up a cotton guard, and I will finish this battle right here. Because nothing else on this dude's team can do anything. He's sitting here energy balling me when Psychic would be doing more damage. So I'm absolutely not worried about this thing at all. Why he has a special attacking Latios against uh, Mega Altaria really, really baffles me. I could have killed him off pretty easily. I just, I needed the, and he has double edge on a special attacking Latios. And he has basic Minetric which is really, really odd. This is a really, really oddly put together team. But uh, we'll just finish this off really quick. We got a nice little 5-0 to start off the episode. Ugh. And two hit kill. Game's over. Send a nice little GG. And make sure we're still recording. Okay, so. I apologize for it not being lined up the way it's supposed to be. Um, it was doing this really, really weird fucking thing I've never heard of, uh, OBS doing. The way I was moving the mouse, it was going the opposite direction. Now, I've never heard of anybody complaining about that, or that happening to anybody, but it, that's what was happening to me. Um, so, he probably leads off with either the Skarmory or the Galvantula here. So, I'm going to lead off with Empoleon just as my basic lead, and he leads off with Gengar. That's not bad for us. We set up Stealth Rocks, and he goes for Focus Blast. We go into Fluffy, and we're going to do a little bit of switching right here. And the question is, is this thing Specs? Now, I really don't think it is, so I'm going to go out into... What's he going to switch into if this thing specs? He goes into Metagross if this thing specs. I switch into Bernardo. Okay, it's not specs. I probably should have switched into Empoleon. But we go Sucker Punch. This thing's dead, so it's not too big of a deal. And even if it goes down to Sash, I'm not too worried about it. There's Sash. Okay, so now we go into... This thing's easily, easily revenge killed, so I'm not absolutely worried about it at all. I don't know why he would go Focus Blast. Okay, so did we get our Stealth Rocks up before his move? I don't think so, because he should be faster. Nope, we definitely want second. So, we'll bait out the Focus Blast, go into Ultramoth. See if I can do anything with this thing, because I haven't done anything of worth with this thing at all, so.
let's just try and set up here. I don't really care if this thing goes down. It's not too big of a worry. I wouldn't be surprised if this is probably... He goes Dark Pulse. We should outspeed him now, so it's not too big of a deal. We'll just go Giga Drain. There's that. He gets knocked out. Now, the only big thing... He would go into this, because I really don't have anything to hit you, dude. Now, he'll probably end up going Brave Bird or trying to set up. I'm just going to Giga Drain and see what he does. Oh, he defogs. Okay. We did 21%. Um, let's Quiver Dance and see what he does. He's probably going to Brave Bird. Oh, he goes Stealth Rocks of his own. And we're going to Quiver Dance one more time, and then pretty much nothing else on the... And he Whirlwinds. Okay. Wish. Now we'll go Hyper Voice. And he just Toxic Glass. Okay, so that's not too big of a deal. We have Heal Bell, so that's absolutely not a big deal at all. We're just going to Hyper Voice again, get rid of this Skarmory. Because it's probably going to end up being a roll. I don't think that was it. Actually, we get another low roll. That really sucks. Okay, so we just go for the Giga Drain here and finish this thing off. Ultra Moth actually doing work this game. Really, really surprised. He's already got two kills. This one's probably going to end up being like a 3 0 on our side. He has two electric types, which I don't have an absolute counter to, and a ground type, so. It's not the greatest thing, but we definitely could play around it. Fluffy does a lot of work, except the Metagross. So, as long as I have Father around, it's not too big of a deal. I do want to get rid of these uh, hazards. So, I'm going to set up a Wish. And now I will switch into Empoleon. I don't really think he's going to go for another... Oh, there we go. Perfect. We're gonna go for a defog now that the um now that the Skarmory's out of the way. It's not too big of a deal to just defog and get rid of this shit. I'm not too worried about setting on my own. Okay, so I let this thing go down here. It doesn't really do very much for the rest of the game. I'll let this thing go down, it's not too big of a deal. And now we just go this thing's fucking sash is still intact. That's a big problem. We go into Sylveon, and I will just go Hyper Voice, get rid of its Sash, and I get paralyzed. Okay, so now we go into Father and just finish it off with Extreme Speed. Obviously, we have to deal with fucking uh, Sticky Webs up on our side, but that's not too big of a deal. He goes into Raikou, which is probably his best play. He probably has HP Ice on this thing, and it's probably going to ex expect me to switch into Fluffy. But I don't see this thing being too outwardly defensive. E-Speed gets the two-hit KO, so that's not too big of a deal. Um, I'm going to have to sack off Ultra Moth here in a second. If he goes into... The Hoopa Unbound, I switch into Ultra Moth and get a big hit off. Either way, I need to go into Ultra Moth, so it's not too big of a deal. He gets rid of me. Okay, so the biggest problem here is do I think Father can live a Zen Headbutt, Meteor Mash, anything? And I think we lose here. There it is. Uh, even if I Cotton Guard here, I don't think I can win. Yep, there it is. GG, dude. A close battle. I could have had him. I needed to play a little bit differently, but I didn't. And that, in the end, was my fault. So, another team that I needed a nice move for. So, this team will probably end up leading off that Magnazone or the Ninjasks. And I feel like Bernardo is probably my best choice for either of those. And he leads off of Landorus. Okay, so we switch into Empoleon. 
He goes for knockoff, that's not too big of an issue. We go stealth rock. And just get him up. And he knocks us out with earthquake. Okay. We go into Altaria. Scare the thing off with the hyper voice. He's bound to switch. So he probably goes into the Rotomosh here. Oh, he goes into Magnazone. Why would you go into Magnazone? You don't know if I fucking thunder, dude. I mean, not thunder, flamethrower. That makes absolutely no sense. If you fucking scouted out for it, I'd be like, yeah, that makes sense. But it, it makes no sense. I'm just going to Giga Drain here, let Ultra Mile. Whoa! We get a nice. We get a nice little hit there. Okay, so. Flash Cannon did 81%. I'm not going to sit here and risk it. Um, I think I'm just going to knock down the sub and not worry about it. Okay, so he switches out. I'm going to go for. I'm going to go for the Quiver Dance because he's going to go for a Protect. And he goes for that. Okay. So I'm just going to go for a Venno Shock here. Get rid of the sub. Now, he's probably going to baton pass out into somebody. So, I'm just going to Giga Drain and try and get the health back from whoever comes in. I hope it's that Rotomosh. I really do. We're back at full health. This isn't a big issue at all. Let's just continue screwing this dude up. We have been recording for 15 minutes, so this is probably going to end up being the last battle. Let's see how big damage this does. It should hit anything hard. It really should. And it hits Heracross. Okay, so... Whew. This is probably Mega Heracross. I was hoping it was Mega Alakazam, just because it would be a little bit easier. Um, I think we just go... Toxic here. Now I want to go Giga Drain just in case he kills, and yeah, there it is. Okay, so we go into Fluffy and just revenge kill this thing with Hyper Voice. That'll knock him out, and now we have three Mons that are close to death, so that's not too big of a deal. That means we're about 3-4, and I think I have damage on uh, Sylveon. If I can get rid of this Rotom Wash... I believe this Rotomosh and this uh, Landorus, um, Entei and Bernardo pretty much clean up. It's not too big of a deal, it's just getting through this Heracross and the Lando. Okay, so we do 22% with... You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to start Cotton Guarding. I need this thing, and I need this thing to take some hits, so it's not too big of a deal. And he goes into Magnazone. I probably should have hit the Hyper Voice on the switch. I knew it was coming, I really did. There's no hazards out. I'm going into Father. And we're going to go for Sacred Fire. It'll hit anything hard that wants to switch in. And possibly burn the Road of Mosh, which is his definite switch in. Unless he's going to let something go down. I was hoping for a bird in there. Nothing I really can do. So let's go back into Fluffy. He goes for a Volt Switch. He goes right back into the Magna Zone. I'm going to go into the Bernardo. He'll probably end up going back for another Volt Switch. We take fucking 33%. I'm going for Head Smash. I don't think he's staying in. And he does, wow. Okay, so we get rid of that. That's one of the biggest things off his team right now. So, he's probably going to end up going into Rotomosh because he's going to think I'm going to go into Altaria. So, I'm going to go into Altaria because it's my be the easiest switch I have to go in. Definitely the easiest one. And he just goes back into Ninjasks. This thing's dead. He subs, anything. He just goes toxic. I have Heal Bell to get rid of that. My guess would be um, Heracross here, trying to get rid of me. 
truthfully, his easiest way to get rid of me is the Landorus. Okay, let's heal Bell and see what he's going to do. I'm not a physical Altaria, though. I don't know why he's trying to play Switch games with me. I really don't. Him switching out consistently on me is just letting me set up as much as I want. Okay, so we know this thing isn't... Um, isn't Mega, so it's not too big of a deal. Okay, so I got Encore into Heal Bell. I switch into Sylveon. He goes for a Psychic. I go for a Hyper Voice. I go into... He did 77%. Let's just see what he thinks I'm going to do. Okay, he did 31% last time. I calm mind here. And it did a little bit more this time. Oh, he went first, okay. Let's revenge this thing and go E speed. I E speed here. Okay, so did 30%. That's not bad. It does enough damage to where I can switch into Fluffy. And just hyper voice this Rotom. See what he wants to do. Because I really don't think anything this Rotom can do will kill me. He goes Willow. I'm just going to roost here. The burn isn't going to do anything to me. I'll heal bell it off right now, actually, because this Landorus really kind of can't do anything to me. I don't really see HP ice on Landorus all that much. It's probably like a 1-2% kind of thing. And he rock tombs me, because he's feeling ballsy. I'm just going to hyper voice here. He U-turns again. And there goes Alakazam. I guess I can understand why he went for the rock dream there. Hmm. I let Father go down here. He's going to go for a rock blast. I needed to get my speed back up. I, I assume this dude's not max speed. I really do. It wouldn't make sense for him to be able to have, have Baton pass at max speed. So, um, I need to start playing aggressive and play my game, so I'm going to go Cotton Guard. That Cotton Guard's going to be big when he brings back in the... There he goes for the Rotom. I'm going to Cotton Guard again. He's going to Pain Split me. Not too big of a deal. He burns me. I'm going to heal down. Now he's going to switch into the, um, whatchamacallit. I'm going to roost. He goes for another willow. I go for a hyper voice and hit this thing hard. His only choice right now is literally to switch into the Heracross, but he doesn't want to, he doesn't want to get hit on the switch. And that's completely what he doesn't want to do. It's pretty much his only choice now is to either let this Rotom go down or get hit hard on the switch. But I need to set up on this Rotom. What's really odd is he doesn't have Thunderbolt. I avoided the attack. Is that his last one? No, it's not. I really need more health. I really don't want to deal with him going uh, pain split though. Well, there he goes down. I'm at about half health. I should live, truthfully. He has to go into Landorus again and lower my speed. Oh, there he is. Okay, so I'm going to roost. I don't think this thing's going to take me down. It only does 2%. Not worried. Just hyper voice. There it is. He leaves. Good game, guys. As always, this has been your boy Iconic Below.
I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I really do apologize for the shitty layout, but I will get that fixed for next episode. As always, guys, this has been your boy, Akarna Bilo, and have a good fucking day.